worlds. We have previously used Designer to make simple interactive games that respond to our mouse clicks and keyboard presses. A central premise in those games the current game state, which at that point could only be a single designer object. You may recall that we had a pie floating across the screen, or spinning, by calling the appropriate designer functions like change underscore x and turn underscore left. Well, it turns out that designer objects are objects just like those created by data classes, and they actually have their own fields that we can manipulate. In fact, updating those fields allows us to update the objects on the screen. We can use this, for example, to make the pie fly across the screen just as before, but this time we update the object's fields directly. Until now, our games could only have one object on the screen, which sharply limited the possibilities for our games. To make more complicated games, we must use data classes to bundle our game's state into a single object. Conventionally, designer refers to these data classes as worlds, although technically speaking there is nothing special about the name. As long as you are consistent with using whatever name you choose, the first parameter will be whatever object you pass into the start function. In the example shown here, our world data class has two fields, the pie and the label. The former is the emoji from before, but the latter is a text object that will appear in the center of the screen. The syntax for updating the world.py.x field is a little strange, we have to chain together two attribute accesses. Alternatively, we could have passed the world.py attribute into the change underscore x function like before. Either way, the x coordinate of the pi will be updated every step. A new event becomes a bit more useful, at this point. The starting event occurs once at the very beginning of the game, and allows us to specify how the initial game state should start. This way, we do not have to pass any special data into the start function. Later on, if we ever want to create a new original copy of the world, we have a function which does so. Because our worlds can have more than one field, we can achieve some cool tricks. A common pattern is to have some code execute after a certain amount of time. By keeping track of the steps that have passed in a timer field, we can choose when to trigger an event like changing the current name field of an emoji, which in turn changes what picture is drawn. This code will therefore have the egg emoji turn into a hatching chick after 60 seconds.